Can I safely look at a picture of the sun? What? I know it's bad to look at the sun, but what if I took a picture of it with my phone? Would it still ruin my... What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I was scouring the internet and boy oh boy is there some idiots on it. Um, so today I decided that we were going to look through some of those idiotic posts and um, yeah, I thought I'd take you along the ride because there are some real, real stupid people on the internet. So, <laughs> that's... Try and look at this with a straight face. Can I safely look at a picture of the sun? I know it's bad to look at the sun, but what if I took a picture of it with my phone? Would it still ruin my eyes? Well, yes, it's bad to look at the sun with your eyes, correct? But if you took a picture of it, then you're not looking at the sun, you're looking at a picture of it. So, no, you will not ruin your eyes. Let's go to the next one. Is it illegal to kill an ant? Today, I was walking down the street and there was an ant on a puppy, so I stepped on the ant and killed it. A police officer gave me a very dirty look and so did a lot of other people around, so I was wondering if it was illegal to kill ants. I'm super serious, this isn't a joke. Why would it be illegal to kill ants? Just out of curiosity, why would it be illegal to kill ants? Well, one, no one's gonna know if you did. The only reason they gave you a dirty look was because you gave them probably a dirty look. And people were looking around you wondering, hang on, did you say it was on a puppy? Well, yeah, because you look like you're about to kill a puppy, probably. That's why you were getting dirty looks, love. Oh, Lizzie Watersworth, you need to sort your life out. God. Okay, next one. This is from Corey. Is The Hunger Games based on a true story offer? Is The Hunger Games based on a true story? Oh my god. Why are people so stupid? It was- I was watching The Hunger Games. Is it true? Like, did it happen to Nazis after World War II? I'm hoping that it didn't happen to Nazis after World War II, personally. And, I mean, if it was a real thing, you'd have seen it on the television. I'm just saying. So yes, the answer to your question is no, it wasn't based on a true story. Oh, these, these are getting worse. These are actually getting worse. Are there birds in Canada? I'm thinking of visiting. I might bring my camera, so I'm curious to know if you have any birds. I know they have moose. Oh my god. This, 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 this is actually hurting my brain. Why would you even bother asking if there was birds in Canada? There's birds everywhere. And why the hell am I having to examine this question? Literally, the b easiest thing to know is if there's birds. Yes, in every f***ing country, there's birds. Okay? Are there any autographs of Jesus, for God's sake? <laughs> I know there's an autograph of... Babe Ruth or John Lennon and George Washington? Are there any autographs of Jesus Christ that are either on eBay or in people's houses? Try the Bible, honey. Try the... Oh my god. This is, that, this is hard. This is really hard. Like, what process of your mind do you have to go through to, to ask these questions to yourself? What? Are there any, you know what? I'm actually going to do that now. I'm actually going on to I'm actually going on to a site and I'm looking it up because I want to know myself if there is any autographs of Jesus on eBay. Jesus Christ's autograph. Diego Morago, the Bible. Jesus Christ autograph signed after. What? No, no, that, what? No, that's just based on a film. World Cup, two thousand no. No. The answer to your question is no, there isn't. There isn't. 
autographs of Jesus Christ on eBay. Um, or in people's houses. Yeah, I'm not looking that up as well. Yeah, you can't buy Jesus Christ's autograph. I do apologise for that, love. <clears throat> what if the girl that thinks I'm the dad isn't the mum? I slept with a girl and now she's pregnant. There's two possible fathers, though. And either of us think it's us. Anyways, what if she's really not the mum to begin with? Will it be another guy's child? What? What? I slept with a girl and now she's pregnant. There's two possible fathers, though either of us think it's us. Anyways, what? That makes no sense. Anyway, what if she's not the mum? I'm not even analysing this question. I'm just not going to. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of trying to blow my mind. <laughs> Basically, if the, if the girl is pregnant, how can she not be the... F Moving on. How am I sure I'm the real mum of... Oh, for, please don't tell me this is the same bloody woman. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a baby and it looks more like the man I had my baby with. It doesn't look like me at all and I'm scared that he was cheating on me with another lady and I had kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I had her kid. This child is the best thing that's ever happened to me and I can't imagine giving my baby to the room. <laughs> I have no words for you. No words whatsoever. <laughs> this is this is just making my day. This is the greatest thing I've decided to do. Oh. <laughs> 60 seconds and one minute aren't really the same. This is a bit of a random question, but the answer has been bugging me for a long time. Okay, so, on a microwave, if you push 60, then it cooks for 60 seconds, or one minute. Follow me? And if you also press one minute, it will cook for one minute, or 60 seconds. Right? Right? Okay, well, my question is, if you add... <laughs> One minute plus one minute, it is two minutes, right? So you, so your food will cook for a total of two minutes. But if you add 60 seconds and 60 seconds, it will only cook for one minute and 20 seconds. Even though 60 seconds is one minute. I know. I'm confused as well. Don't worry. I'm guessing, to put it into a simple t terms, how come one minute and one minute equals two minutes, but 60 seconds is only one minute... I'm actually, I'm actually gonna go, I'm actually putting this on my calculator right now. Okay. 60 plus 60 is 120 because it's two numbers. It's also one minute and one minute equals two minutes because if you put 100 and 100 together, you get 200. But you're not going to put it on for 100 minutes because 100 minutes is a minute and 40 seconds. So, what I'm saying here is that you have just completely screwed yourself, honey. So, you put it on for 60 seconds plus another 60 seconds is only 120 because it's just 60 plus 60. 100 and 100 is 200. So, get rid of the colons or whatever the thingies are, and it's just 100 plus 100 equals 200. So, if you put, for instance, 60... Hang on, I'm trying to think how to do this now. 0 0.66 plus 0 0.66... Not 0 0.66. 0 0.60 plus 0 0.60 is 1 minute. So, what you'd need to do here is... Why am I bothering? Why am I bothering? Basically... 60 seconds and one minute are the same thing because there's 60 seconds in a minute, there is one minute. There's 60, there's 60 seconds in one minute and one minute has 60 seconds in it. So... Oh. 
This is the most difficult thing I'm putting myself through here. <sighs> let's just let's just move on. Move on. Why does my cat vibrate? Oh my god. Her chest always vibrates like she has worms or something in her. Is this normal? When she vibrates, she makes a tiny vibrate noise and it's scaring me because I don't doesn't it because it doesn't seem normal. Right, okay, so what you need to do here is you don't need to own an animal because you don't know the simplest things about an animal. Everyone knows that a cat purrs, so it vibrates. Everyone knows that when it vibrates, it makes a slightly noise. So, the answer to your question is, don't own animals if you can't understand them. Next question. <laughs> Can you actually lose weight by rubbing your stomach? I'm five foot five, and I weigh 220, oh, I don't care, and I'm 26 years old, and my 14-year-old daughter is embarrassed to be around me, and it's going to take a long time to lose all the weight. So I heard that if I rub my hands to get together for really quick, for around 15 seconds, and then rub around your belly button, makes you lose weight. Is this true? Has anyone tried? I'm looking this up, because I can't make a judgement without looking it up. Can you lose weight by rubbing your stomach. I'm going to look it up. I'm guarantee you it's that you can't. It would take a decade to make a significant progress because rubbing isn't particular intense. Anything else you've heard, read or imagined about rubbing your stomach is probably not real. They said there are better ways of losing weight. They usually involve diets and exercise. Well, yeah, not just rubbing your stomach, honey. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so the answer to your question is no, you can't lose weight. It would take decades. So, yeah, there you go. Well, hang on, no, 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 you could lose weight because it says it takes decades, so you can lose weight from doing it, it's just not an accurate way of doing it. Okay, let's go. Next question. Can I tell by the smell of my husband's gas if he has been cheating? Oh, God. Oh, you are really testing my patience, Gwen. I know this sounds crazy, yes, it does. It smells, sounds really crazy, it really does, but... Hubs usually has his own smell. The, the family always knows when he has passed gas, even if he tries to be funny and blame it on the dog. Lately, he's had work late a few times, and each time he's come home and his gas has smelled unlike anything I've ever smelt from him. Kind of like maybe he had that Thai food or something. He said he has only been at work and not anywhere else, but sometime, something is definitely different. Do you think he's cheating? Okay, Gwen, if you think your husband's cheating on you, you need to just make the decision and decide from there. I'm now giving flipping a relationship advice. This is what this has come to. Okay, if you think your husband is cheating, go and find someone and tell them that you think that your husband's cheating and then you maybe can get like an undercover spy and follow them around. Um, so my honest, my honest answer to here is one, I really don't care. And two, if you think he's cheating, find someone out. Find someone who can tell you if he's cheating. Okay, next question. What happens if you paint your teeth with the nail varnish? My cousin always does this and her teeth are really white. Is it bad for you? Well, yeah, because I'm pretty sure nail varnish is um, sort of, what's the word, poisonous? But um, yes, um, I suppose... The right answer to this is if you want to kill yourself, do it. Apart from that, I can't give you any more advice. Last question. I don't know if my daughter is mine. Oh my god. I don't know if my daughter is mine. I gave birth to her, but I'm not sure if it's my boyfriend cheating on me and I've had his other girlfriend's baby. Right, I'm going to say the exact same thing as I said in the other one. If you had sex with your boyfriend and he had sex with another girl he's gonna have he has got the other girl pregnant with his and her baby so you have carrying his and your baby baby yeah baby he's carrying your baby okay so holly no 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 he's not you're not carrying her baby i'm losing my will to live now we're ending this video right now <laughs> 
Okay, guys, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to drop a like down below. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. And I just did the complete opposite things, so yeah l drop a like down below make sure to subscribe and drop any comments give me some feedback let me know how i'm doing and if you'd like to please follow me on my social medias they are right there and i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace out to you next time guys bye bye